Uh, let's move on to the Grand National Trial then at Haydock Blackline. Your friend, Blackline, <laughs> Shane. Remember you? Yeah, absolutely. Weren't too kind about God, giving us a bit of grief, perhaps, <laughs> shall we say, yeah. Um, anyway. It's expected to go off short again here, Tom. Yeah. Two to one at the moment with Labrook said. The Dutchman, four to one. Three faces, West, five to one. Wild West win, 11 to two. Mystery, 10 to one. Yala Enki, 11 to one. Silsal, 12 to one. Sir Mangan, then 14s. Uh, 10 to one currently for the entry Grand National Black Line. Uh, the Dutchman is in the 33s. Three faces, West, at 50s. That's for the entry renewal. Good stuff. Uh, Brendan, he's plenty away here. Do you think this is a formality for Black Line? It's tricky. Like, he's given lots of weight away. He's he? giving lots of weight away, but he does have a big class edge yeah i mean he'll be effective in the conditions he's got that class edge what's not to well the price is what's not the to like. the price the two to one. one it's just it just seems a little bit short maybe with the national in mind they might have backed off from slightly it might not just be a hundred percent for this and i thought that wild west win was interesting His, yeah. he fell in the welsh national uh, unfortunately, but he's normally a solid jumper, and the form of his previous win in Chepstow couldn't be working out better. I think I'd rather play him at eleven to two each way. Yeah, Brian, your thoughts? I don't think it's a betting race for me. Just a black line is an awful lot of weight in the race. I just couldn't, I couldn't be siding with him. Obviously, how do you think he'd get on in a Gold Cup if he was running obviously a previous or RSA winner? Absolutely, he'd, he'd, he'd have an each way chance, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that means a wide open goal cup. Yeah. It's, they've obviously they, they've looked, they've stuck to their original plan mm. with the Grand National, mm. but mm. He's, mean, he's very similar to Definitely Red. He does have a similar yeah. chance to him, yeah. Uh, Shane, are you, are you going to be with her against uh, your say, friend Blackline? Just say briefly as well, Tom, I actually hope he goes on and wins the Grand National because I've actually backed Nigel Twiston Davis for a top trainer in the UK this season, so that obviously would, would add to his well, that would credentials add to his for that. I'm actually I'm going to side with um, three faces west here. You know, was a previous course winner as well, and I think the clue with this one is if he just goes out and tries to make all, it could be very hard to catch in the, in the type of conditions it's expected to be uh, at the weekend. He gets £17 as well from Black Line, and that, you know, that type of ground is going to tell an awful lot come the final a couple of a couple of fences in the latter stages of the race as well. So three faces west for me. Yeah, and he, he had looked to be a decent jumper yeah. in the past. Right, let's move on to Goran. Unfortunately, Goran for that Red Nose chase.